Hello and welcome to my short introduction videos for eco. I am by no means an eco expert um, and this series is mainly aimed to give you a quick overview over the different things and topics. This video's topic will be about the different professions and their specializations, uh, aka jobs. Some of these jobs have to be researched before you can pick them and if i already made a video about research or when i will have made a video about research i will put a link in the doobly doo down below and put a card in the top right if you click on that little i um all jobs will level up when you perform any labor in them for example, if you have logging and chop down trees, you will gain experience points. And each level will grant you buffs in that job, which will result in less usage of calories. Basically, your stamina. And will give you more efficiency. Right, so then... Let's go through the different jobs just in order as they appear, appear in the in the job book, basically. To get here, you either press Z and bring that up, or you can hit Tab to get your mouse free and then click down here in the left corner, left bottom corner. Right, so Carpenter is one of the jobs that has a speciality speciality that does not need research and can be picked from the very beginning logging allows you to gain experience from chopping down trees and unlocks the one of the tier one crafting materials that you unlock not crafting, building materials, which will be the base for most of the early game houses and buildings in general. You also unlock the small wooden cart, which allows you to transport more resources from point A to point B. The next step up, which then already needs research, is carpentry. Carpentry is quite important because in carpentry you construct many of the crafting stations for the other jobs. And you get the lumber recipe which is a tier 2 building material and allows for well better houses and unlocks furniture for example the bed uh, chairs there's tables and so on then the high tier Carpentry is composites, which allows to craft the composite lumber, which is a tier 4 building material, and a couple of more furniture items. Paper milling allows at the moment only to craft paper. Maybe the devs will put in something more here. But uh, at the time of recording, only paper is crafted here, or with this job. And paper is only used to craft deeds when you have the government working buildings unlocked and use them. Next one, Chef. Probably one of the most important jobs in the in the game 
doesn't matter if you play alone or if you're playing on a on a server campfire cooking is the very base cooking always unlocked uh, with one just one star and allows you to craft well cook meals for example charred corn um well yes yeah, so the name implies allows cooking on a campfire and these cooked meals uh, have more value than eating the raw materials so to say then the next step up baking and cooking both need a new crafting station which is made by the mason and or the engineer it's the net next step up it's basically the mid mid tier food stuff like baked tomatoes and bread and cooking has things like a shark filet soup or a vegetable vegetable soup recipe so it's basically the mid mid tier food and that is what mm, the people will eat most of the game really because it takes quite some time to get to the advanced baking and cooking which are the high level foods advanced baking has pizza woo and advanced cooking has fancy stuff like bison chow and uh, enchiladas for example uh, also some sushi the last tier is cutting edge cooking which interestingly doesn't produce any food except for cornstarch although that's actually not used in food um so this is more industry based stuff next job engineering all of these will have to be unlocked through re research basic engineering is the first tier if you will allows for the first items to be crafted that are power generation um also allows for roads the large hand card and up here at level six allows the crafting of the first powered card the well, powered card next step up is mechanics which allows for a lot of crafting materials that will be needed for the other engineering jobs allows for the steam truck the mid-tier self-driven car self-powered card allows the steam tractor which the farmer can use and will be a lot of use for the farmer and then the other ones electronics and industry and oil drilling are more or less working together industry is a lot of crafting stations of the end game crafting stations um yeah for example an automatic loom oil drilling allows for crafting of uh, gasoline petroleum and plastics and nylons etc and electronics is the very last tier really because that's where you get the laser then farming um by default always available is the gathering which mostly gives um resource or um, and, um, calorie buffs for performing well gathering operations L like picking up uh, raw foods goes for wild food as well as for 
actually farmed food. Then there is farming, which allows the crafting of seeds, which in turn can be used to actually farm the different food items, if you will. And apparently can make cotton thread. Then we have fertilizers, which will allow for, well, fertilizers, which improve the yields and, I think, growing time for farmed food. And then there's milling, which is an important step for the cook, because that allows the production of flour and sugar and oils. Which are all used for cooking. Then we have the hunting, which is kind of self-explanatory. You get XP for hunting animals. And the levels will give you basically stealth. So you can get closer to the animals before they notice you and try to run away. Also allows the crafting of the fishery, which in turn will be needed to craft um, fish that is used for cooking, as well as the fish trap, which will actually catch the fish. And then there's butchery, which again is kind of self-explanatory, somewhat important, because it's producing all the different, uh, that's where the meat for the cooking comes from. Which is for the low, mid, and to a certain degree for the high-end tier foods. The mason profession includes mining, which is obviously a always unlocked skill, which grants uh, gets XP from, well, mining, very surprising, and also the crafting of the first step fr down from ore to something that the smelter later can uh, produce into actual iron bars or metal bars. Then the next step up is masonry allows for the crafting of mortar stone, which is a tier one building material, um, as well as the mill, which is used for the farmer, which is used for the cook, and some furniture. The next step is pottery, which allows the construction crafting of bricks which in turn are a tier 2 building material as well as you can make the bakery oven which is used for well baking so the chef has something to bake the bread in then quite late game is advanced masonry which allows for fancy actually very nice looking Ashlar stone, which is a tier 4 building material, and at time of recording, tier 4 is the highest building material tier you can get at the moment. And then we have glass making, which allows to craft well, glass, which in turn is another tier 4 building material as well as uh, uh, a sign and quick lime, which is well, used for class. <laughs> then we have the smith, which is late, early game, early mid game. <laughs> 
for the smelting, which allows for the crushed stone that is made in the mining to be turned into actual metal bars, like gold bars. Um, there's an iron bar. And the first upgrade of hand tools, like iron pickaxe, iron hammer, and so forth. Iron hammer gets another construction method for placing blocks. And in general, they the tools all get more more durability so they don't break as often plus you get a couple of um, crafting stations like the sawmill which will be needed by the carpenter then advanced smelting is mostly steel production and the last tier of well there's first steel tools and then modern tools. And that's basically it. Can make the chainsaw, which is uh, good for logging. Then we have the survivalist, which isn't actually a job. It, everybody automatically has the self-improvement skill. It's a fancy thing, and it's an odd thing. <laughs> because you get a bigger stomach. So you can hold more calories, which means you get effectively more stamina. And you use fewer calories when using the hammer and the shovel. It's always enabled and you get well more carrying weight. That's really the, the most important one, really, up to 2.5 kilograms. And then last but not least, we have the tailor, which allows the crafting of cloth, different kinds of cloth, which will be needed for the windmill, and clothing, which is mostly um, an optical thing but there are also backpacks for example the first backpack here gives you additional 10 kilograms of carrying capacity and this set of two shoes uh, increases your movement speed so it's probably one of the least important jobs or things you can unlock when playing alone can be quite useful but it's not super important i think in my own op opinion the chef is probably the most important one without a chef the entire server grinds to a halt because everybody has to eat raw foods until they can unlock their own cooking campfire cooking skill right yeah that concludes the this video i hope you learned something if you have more questions, put them down in the in the comments. I'll see to answer them as quickly as I can. I mean, in a reasonable time span, obviously. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And have a continued good time zone. And see you all on the other side. Have a good one. Bye bye.